Here we are at the Lake George Cross Country Center. A couple days after the big 20 inch snowfall, but we've had about a day and a half of rain. It just kind of ended this morning. It's been over freezing for the last two days. So they groom the trails here. They're very skiable, but things are wet granular. Like the powder that they have in southern and western New York State. But we'll make the best of it and uh, just ski what we have, enjoy what we have. While it's gonna last, we got another month of this stuff. One of the things I really like about skiing here is you have this beautiful brook, Gage Brook, running alongside one of the trails in this lovely hemlock forest, which you know shades the snow very well. And you got this kind of very nice sort of rustic scene with the water flowing alongside the trails. And it's flowing today because it's warm. We've had a lot of rain the last, the last couple days. So, snow's a little wet, but we really have some lovely scenery here today. So it's worth getting out to get a little exercise, enjoy it while we still have it. So, like I said, you can't get much prettier than this lovely spot in this section of cross country trails along the stream here. Kind of like the music of the forest as you're skiing along. Keeps it interesting. There are some spots on this trail where it seems that the further you go, the prettier it gets. I mean, look at that, this little flow of water going underneath a nice shelf that's covered with a foot of snow. It used to be 20 inches of snow. But that's the stream. And it runs under the snow and ice for quite some distance further up there. That's the stream bed. It's a really pretty day up here today. Well, it ended up being such a nice day, I decided to take the trail all the way to the top of Prospect. This is the last level area after the steep ravine I just climbed. This will take us to the southern parking lot of Prospect Mountain. It's about a quarter mile up, not much of a rise. Then I'll have the final ascent on the road. Hopefully there'll be some sled tracks, so a nice groomed track to run in. Finally made it to the top. It's blowing a little bit. There's looks like just empty snow here, but there's like a frozen crust and everything. The last end of this trail was pretty tough. It was knee deep or maybe even deeper at spot with the glaze frozen on top. Would have been useful to have snowshoes, although I'm not sure exactly how useful. Well, from here on I'm going to ski up this road, and that should be fun, a nice ski back down. Well, we made it to the top of Prospect Mountain. It's kind of breezy up here. Clouds have moved in. We've got a little sledder down there. I see a few sleds coming up and down. Good view. Definitely worth the trip. If I were to do it again, I would have taken a pack and some snowshoes for the deep, this deep stuff. Most of the time, I was on my skis, but uh, it's been a while since we had this much snow up here on Prospect. Here's the view of Lake George from the top of Prospect Mountain. Looking up through the Narrows, you see the Tongue Mountain Range on the left of the Narrows. You see higher mountains on the right, including that big bump on the right, which is, I believe, black. Pan over to the north. Shrouded in clouds today and snow squalls, it looks like. You can make out some of the high peaks, just barely. Panning back to Lake George. Nice views of Lake George today. Looks pretty cold. Everybody's got a lot of snow. A lot of snow up here on the top of Prospect Mountain, despite the fact we didn't get that storm yesterday. Just the first one, we probably got 25 inches. So this is what it's like skiing down Prospect Mountain on the road. Here's the traditional trekking, hiking trail up ahead on the left. We're not going to take that, we're going to go to the unconventional hiking trail that I came up on. Now we're back down to Gage Brook, and I must say, the snow's a lot nicer for skiing. There's no frozen crust. It's not quite as deep as what we found up top. I think I have a nice, easy, long hill ski down to the cross-country ski course from here. 
a little rough in that uh, crusty snow because you would just break through and you couldn't glide. But down here it's just kind of a nice, gentle, wet, granular, forgiving snow. It checks your speed, you don't go too fast. So, just going to cruise in to the bottom.